In this video, we're decoding 10 of the oddest cat behaviors, and it turns out the reasons behind them are just as fascinating. So let's dive straight in. Number 1. Uncovered Poop Have you ever walked into the room, and there it is? The surprise package in the litter box, totally uncovered. You'd think they'd want to hide that, right? So here's the scoop on the poop. It's not an accident, your cat is making a statement. That uncovered poop is a bold message to any other felines that might be lurking nearby. It's like they're saying that they are here and not scared of being found. Basically, your kitty is flexing their dominance, loud and clear. Did you know that uncovered poop is a survival instinct from their wild ancestors? In the wild, the top cats, the dominant ones, leave their waist uncovered. It's their way of saying this is my territory, keep out. Number 2. Knocking things over. When your cat decides to play a game of how far can this object fly, they're not just being mischievous. In fact, they're following their natural hunting instincts. When cats knock things over, they're testing to see if the object will move or react, just like they would with potential prey in the wild. It's their way of satisfying their curiosity and practicing their hunting skills, even if it's just with a harmless pen or a cup. But as a cat owner, you probably don't really want your stuff flying around or getting broken all the time. So what can you do? One solution is to provide your cat with more interactive toys that can help keep their hunting instincts busy. Toys like feather wands, mouse toys, or even puzzle feeders can be a great way to engage your cat and give them an outlet for their natural behaviors. Now to the next strange behavior, chattering at birds. Picture this, your feline friend is perched by the window, eyes glued to the fluttering birds outside. Suddenly, they start making these weird chirpy noises, almost like they're trying to talk bird language. Have you ever heard that? It's called chattering, and it's one of those utterly strange yet fascinating things cats do. A study published in the renowned journal Animal Behavior delves deeper into the understanding of cat chattering. According to the scientist, it might actually be an evolutionary adaptation for hunting. Cats are known to be excellent mimics. They've been observed mimicking the cries of a monkey in the wild, a behavior known as vocal mimicry. The researchers proposed that the chattering could be a similar mechanism and attempt to mimic the call of the prey. The aim? To confuse or lure the bird closer. So your cat might be trying to lure the bird closer with their own version of bird chatter, making them quite the crafty hunter. The researchers also explained that this behavior could be an expression of predatory arousal. This means when your cat spots a potential prey but can't reach it, the arousal from the anticipation of hunting might get redirected into these chattering sounds. Number 4. Showing their backside. This seemingly odd behavior is actually a big compliment in the world of cats. The reason behind this quirky behavior lies in the unique social structures of the feline world. In the wild, cats are both predators and prey, and showing their back to another creature could potentially expose them to danger. So when your cat turns its back to you, it's demonstrating a significant level of trust. Moreover, your cat isn't just showing you its rear, it's also communicating with you through the scent. Cats have multiple scent glands on their bodies, including at the base of their tail. When your cat lifts its tail and rubs against you, it's marking you with its scent, claiming you as part of its family. A study published in the Journal of Feline Medicine and Surgery found that these type of marking behaviors, like rubbing or presenting their backside, are a way for cats to establish familiar scents in their environment. This creates a shared group scent, which is comforting to your cat and helps reinforce the bond between the two of you. Now to the next quirky behavior, kneading. Have you ever had your kitty get all comfy on your lap and then start this odd kneading motion? It looks a bit like they're trying to bake an imaginary batch of biscuits right on your jeans. This whole kneading business actually starts when cats are just little kittens. They're doing it for a very important reason, to get the milk flowing. Kneading helps stimulate mom's milk production, so our little kitten gets fresh milk. But why continue kneading into adulthood? It's believed that this behavior, ingrained from such a tender age, is so comforting to cats that they just keep doing it. It's their way of recreating that sense of safety and warmth they felt when they were kittens. Did you know that some cats get so blissed out when they're kneading that they start to drool? The rhythmic motion, the purring, the comfort, it's all just too much, and they sometimes just can't help themselves. Number 6. Gifting dead animals. Have you ever woken up to find a dead mouse or bird at your feet? 
As much as you love your feline friend, that's not exactly the kind of gift you were hoping for, right? This behavior is actually rooted in cats' natural instincts. In the wild, mother cats teach their kittens how to hunt by bringing them dead prey. In your cat's eyes you're their family, and they're simply trying to teach you to fend for yourself. You probably don't appreciate these gifts as much as your cat thinks you should. So how can you prevent this? The best way is to engage your cat in more playtime, specifically with toys that mimic hunting. This way, your cat gets to hunt and you avoid any unpleasant surprises. Number 7. Excessive Grooming You've probably seen your cat grooming hundreds of times. But what happens when they take it to the next level? I'm talking about excessive grooming, when your cat licks and nibbles so much that it leads to bald spots. So why does this happen? There could actually be a few reasons. One is stress, just like how some people bite nails when they're stressed, cats might overgroom. It's a way for them to suit themselves. Another reason could be skin conditions. Itchy skin due to allergies or parasites can lead your cat to lick the same spot over and over. And then, believe it or not, your cat might be doing this out of sheer boredom. Cats need stimulation, and if they don't get it, they might turn to overgrooming as a way to pass the time. If this is the case, environmental enrichment can help reduce this excessive grooming. This means providing your cat with toys, scratching posts, and interactive activities can distract them from overgrooming. Number 8. Night Marathons. Ever been jolted awake by the sound of your cat tearing through the house at 2 a.m.? They're running like their tail is on fire and it seems like the madness will never stop. Here's the scoop on why that happens. Cats are what's called crepuscular. That's a fancy word for saying they're super active during the twilight hours of dawn and dusk. In the wild, this is their prime hunting time. Our domestic kitties have retained this instinct, so when the sun goes down or is about to come up, they're ready to chase and hunt. Your living room becomes their savanna, and they're on the prowl. To help keep those nighttime running marathons in check, try having a play session with your cat before you go to bed. This can help to tire them out and hopefully let you get a peaceful night's sleep. Now to the next strange behavior, rubbing against your legs. When your cat rubs against your legs, they're actually marking their territory, and that territory is you. Cats have scent glands all over their bodies, including on their faces and sides. As they brush against you, they're depositing their unique scent, essentially saying to everyone that this human belongs to them. This behavior isn't just about marking territory, it's also one of the ways cats express their affection. When your cat rubs against you, they're not just claiming you, they're also showing you their love. It's a bit like a feline version of a hug. Number 10. Purring. We often associate rumbling purr with a happy kitty. But contrary to popular belief, purring isn't just a sign of happiness. Cats also purr for healing. The frequency of their purring is known to promote the production of something called growth factors. These are a type of protein that helps cells grow and repair. So when your cat is purring, they might be just content, or they might be healing. Did you know that cats have their own unique ways of apologizing to us? Turns out many cat owners don't even realize what their kitties are doing. Check out this video where we talk about all the secret ways your cat can apologize to you. And if you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more fascinating insights into the world of cats.